welcome to Molly's Motif. This is Emily and today I am going to show you a fun birthday card that I'm putting together for the challenge that is starting over at Cut It Up. The issue, the challenge that has been issued is to create a shaped card. So you just want to see something other than your standard A2 or a 5x5. Five five. We want to see a different shape for your card. And I know that you can weld images together with your gypsy or your in your design studio. You, there, you can pretty much make any shaped card out there that you'd like but then also for instance the birthday bash cartridge there are a bunch of different shaped cards on that one art philosophy has a bunch of different shaped cards and that's the one that I'm going to be using today is a cut one of the card features on art philosophy and it is found on page 61 of the handbook and it's just this fun, it's kind of a starburst or a sunburst. The card that I am using it for, it reminded me of nuts and bolts. And so that's why I chose this one because of the image and the papers that I'm using. So that's why I chose this one. And I cut it at four and a quarter. And that will fit a five by five envelope. And we'll go back to that cartridge in a minute because I used another cut in there. But this is my card shape that I am going to be using and I think it's just super fun especially for a little boy so I think it's just and I've just got some you know just a standard blue cardstock the pattern paper that I'm going to be using is from my mind's eye it's this boy crazy paper pack and I love it I think it's so cute there are some just awesome robot type papers in here just some great colors for boys, lots of chevron. I just loved it. I think it was so fun. So this is where my paper is coming from. And so here's my base card and then my base mat. I just took one of those pattern papers just with these nuts, bolts, buttons, starbursts, just really fun paper. And I will be putting that down so my base card from art philosophy was five and a quarter and I cut my mat at five inches because you can just cut the base cut just at five inches and it fits perfect on that that card so that's what I've done there so that's my base and then the image that I'm using is coming from the Robux robots cartridge and I've had this one for a while I have not used it yet so I'm excited to um, put this one to use. And I actually had my five-year-old come in and choose his favorite one off this cartridge. I had him look at the back and, I mean, there are just some cute robots on here. And they also have a font um, and they do have 3D objects. You can make actual 3D robots. So really fun cartridge. So I had my five-year-old pick his favorite and it happened to be the little robot dog which is found on page 35 and here he is he just turned out so cute I think he's so fun so I just cut him at three and a half inches and I would highly recommend did I do him at three and a half? yes three and a half I tried it at three but I was the pieces were just way too small for me to um, keep my sanity so I cut him at three and a half it made him a little bit bigger the pieces to work with because if you do not have a pair of tweezers, I would highly recommend you getting some tweezers and also your Zig two-way pen. Those are lifesavers for me when I'm putting together images that have the super teeny pieces. So this is how I turned out and I just basically cut how it shows you to, you know, in the handbook and I cut the shadow. So super fun image. It's going to go on my card. And he is going to be popped up. Maybe I'll even put him on an action wobble. I didn't even think about that. But he's going to be popped up over here on the side of the card. And then also from Art Philosophy on that same page, page 61, there were these, there's this cute arrow. And I thought that would be really cute. I thought that that would be a really fun image to go along with this card. And so what I've done is cut an arrow out of some pattern paper at one and a half inch. And then I've cut two yellow arrows, one at an inch and three quarters, because I was kind of hoping that it would be a shadow 
but it's not at all. <laughs> it doesn't really work as a shadow. Um, and then I also cut another plain yellow just at one and a half. So I've got three arrows and I am not quite sure what I'm going to do. And I actually, if you notice, I cut them on flip. I forgot to mention that. If you notice the cut, whoops, get in the camera here, it, it goes to the right and my arrows are going to the left. And so I just cut it on flip. If you have your expression or um, gypsy or whatever, you can, you can manipulate the image like that. So I am going to figure out, because I want the arrow to come over like this, and I've got to figure out how I'm going to do it. So, but we'll just keep it like that for right now. Because I want this arrow pointing to my stamp, which I'm going to be using, and I'm going to stamp it, stamp it straight onto the mat. And my stamp that I'm going to use, it just says happy birthday, but it's one of the fun circle stamps. And this one comes from Mary over at Cards TV. It's called Going in Circles. And there's just so many different sentiments. There's Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, Happy New Year, Happy Anniversary, Happy Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Happy Holidays, Happy Easter. Oh, Happy Day. I love that one. I think that one's super cute. And then there's Father's Day. And then you can also put in the middle of any of those circles these little icons down at the bottom, which make it really cute. So I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday one. And I'm just going to stamp it straight down on the mat. And I want it to circle this fun little gear that's right there. But then I want the arrow to point to it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, how it's going to come together. I just need to kind of figure out what I'm doing with this arrow. And as far as twine or ribbon, I don't know. I haven't, I don't think I'm going to do any of that because it's going to be for a little boy's birthday um, on Saturday and I just I think I'm gonna just leave it kind of like this so maybe I'll put some buttons on there I'm not sure I'll figure that out but this is the gist of my card super easy super simple to put together so I'll get this all finished and finalized and I'll work on the inside and then I'll come back and show you how it turned out okay so I've got my card all put together I didn't end up putting him on an action wobble. I thought he would be really cute if he was, but it just, it wasn't going to fit and he was going to be lopsided. And so I just popped him up on some foam tape instead and he's still super cute. So I've gone ahead and I don't know if you can see, I've got some enamel dots just from recollections that I purchased at Michael's. I just stuck a few random enamel dots there and here's my happy birthday, the stamp right there and the arrow is pointing to it. I did go ahead and just use the same sized arrow that I had cut to act as kind of a, a shadow piece, but the bigger one just wasn't working out. So that is what I've done with the arrow, and I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with this. And then the inside, I just kept it really simple. I cut another, off of Art Philosophy, I just cut another mat, but this time I cut it at five and a quarter so it would match up perfectly with the edges. And then I've cut just a strip of that paper that was left over from the front and just tacked that down. I glued it so that it was over the, the edges and then I just cut to make it, you know, even with the edges. So that's all I did there. And then my sentiment, have a happy you day. I love that sentiment. And that also comes from Cards TV. It's from the this and that stamp set. And it's just right here, have a happy you day. I just think that's perfect for a birthday or you know, any Mother's Day or any occasion like that. So I just, I really like that stamp. But there are some really cute ones on here. I almost used the Oh Nuts stamp for this card because of the nuts and bolts and robots and stuff like that. But I I decided against it. But that one's a really fun one. So stinking cute. I'm your biggest fan. Thinking of you is a fun thing to do. Just some really great sentiments on this stamp set. So if you haven't checked that one out, I would definitely... Have you go over to Cards TV and look at that one because it's, it's an awesome stamp set to have. So this is my card. Super easy, super simple to put together. And one thing that I totally spaced telling you um, earlier was that the challenge that is starting over at Cut It Up, we want to see a shape card, but you do need to include an animal on it. And I totally spaced saying that. And I was even, I was 
so excited that when I found that out and my son had asked me to do the dog robot because I was kind of pushing him to do a different robot off of that robot's cartridge, but I'm so glad he did the dog one because that fit in with the challenge perfectly. So um, just to remember that over at Cut It Up, the challenge is to do a shaped card and then include an animal um, on your on your project or layout. So sorry that I had misinformed you earlier, but anyway, this is what I have come up with. I'm also going to be linking this up over at Pause, Dream, and Enjoy. The challenge over there is to create a Carter project with three different pattern papers. And also over at My Craft Spot, I'm going to enter this over there. Their challenge this week is just for little boys. So um, I thought this was perfect for a little boy birthday, and that's what I'm going to enter in over there. So Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I'd appreciate any comments or feedback that you'd have for me. You can always check out my blog. It's mollymugsblog.blogspot.com. And we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.